Please know that this video may be sensitive to the female population and the gentlemen who may disagree and find this offensive. So please proceed with caution and a realization that people are entitled to their own opinion respectively. <music> my channel so today i'm going to be talking about a very sensitive topic and that is three reasons or we can say them as excuses why we are still out there and i know that this may be a very touchy subject since this is the period where we are still fighting against sexual assault gender-based violence and all that sort of thing so um the first reason i'm just gonna get right to it um the first reason is that the phrase if a girl says no then she's basically saying yes she's just shy too i've heard this phrase quite a lot from uh, some stereotypes in some social classes and groups from the guy's side where they believe that oh, of course it's not everybody right because you know some people you know but you get what i'm saying of course it's not everyone but i've heard this phrase so many times oh if a girl says no she's just shy to you know just go ahead you know if she says no she doesn't want to be with you <laughs> just go ahead she's just shy too she just want to be a little good in two shoes that type of thing and i believe that's one of the reasons why rape is still out there because now every time a girl says no a guy just takes it as a method or as a way of she's just being shy let me just go ahead and I feel like we have a problem in society because now it's like we are losing the definition of what no means. No is when you put a direct order for someone not to do something that you don't want them to do or someone not to perform or say something, just basically doing anything. And when someone says no and you still go ahead and do that thing that they say no, we have a problem in society. And I am here today to say no to sexual abuse, no to gender-based violence, no to rape, no to everything that is bad, no to no to everything that's going on and I just want to, you to realize that some of these little things that we do we don't realize that they're affecting our society and I'm just here to remind you that these things are the reasons why these activities are still going on in our society so when a girl says no you're basically taking it as oh she's just shy Ugh, let me just go ahead and do it and that's not right we need to fix this in society we need to stop using this phrase and we need to stop tolerating it okay the second reason why rape is still out there is because men have come to the conclusion that if a girl is something short too tight or too revealing she's asking for it now i just want to come i just want to understand something what do you want us to wear do you want us to wear ankle length dresses baggy jeans what do you want us to wear because as far as i'm concerned we each and every person has a different uh, perspective a different type sense of style fashion and if you tell me that because of my sense of fashion is the reason why you're raping me are you raping my clone because at the end of the day you're taking away my identity who I am all in the basis of I'm wearing something too tight is that my problem that God gave me such a very hourglass or whatever type of bodies we have but you cannot come to the conclusion that because the girl is doing something too tight too short too revealing she's asking for it would you want a girl to wear sweater and joggers in summer when it's 35 degrees hot what do you expect a girl to wear what do you want her to wear these are the problems that are being that are being manipulated that are being transferred in this in social different social groups they've come to the understanding that if a girl wears something too tight too short to reveal it, she's asking for it. La gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what do you want us to wear? Because I don't know what you want us to wear. Do you want us to wear towels around? Do you want us to wear Zambias? Do you want us to wear them? Do you, what do you want us to wear? Because I don't understand that you come to the conclusion that you cannot control what's inside your pants and what I wear. Is the reason why you're raping me did I ask you to rape me did my clones say please rape me no they did not you know do you want the whole worldwide global to change our way our fashion only in the basis of she's asking for it. she could he cannot control what's in his pants no we can't do that and the third reason why rape is still out there is because of ignorance people still come to the conclusion that oh, 
just because ugh, I'm a guy so it doesn't it doesn't matter to me it doesn't affect me of course it does affect you it affects the moment it affects the loved ones your, your siblings it's gonna affect you because at the end of the day when you come close to a girl she's gonna be afraid of you on the basis of gender-based violence rape you are creating a generation of girls that are scared to be around male figures on the basis of Ugh, it didn't affect me well it, it's not it's not affecting you right now but five years from now when you're trying to when you're trying to socialize with another the opposite gender she's going to be afraid to talk to you because she just thinks you're a rapist and that's not right we need to fix that because we can't live in a generation where it's each and every girl is afraid to talk to a male figure that is not proper because what are we going to do in schools at school when a girl goes to school she's going to think that every guy there every teacher there is a rapist what do we do then? We're creating a blind society where everyone thinks that every person is a monster. We need to put a stand, ladies and gentlemen. We need to put a stand and say no to gender-based violence, no to rape, no to sexual assault, no to if, no to all of that. Because once you say it doesn't affect me, that's the reason why it's still out there. Because you're not putting a stand. You're not saying no to this. And I want you to put a stand with me today and say no to rape, no to, to gender-based violence, no to sexual assault. You know. I've read the I've read the statistics of rape. One in every two or three. It depends, but most probably two in every five women have experienced sex, sexual assault, rape, and gender based based violence. And now, if you come to the conclusion, ah, oh, it doesn't affect me because I'm a guy. Of course, it's gonna affect you. It's gonna affect each and every guy in the world. Because now we think that you're a rapist. You're a monster because we're afraid to socialize with you. We're afraid of you guys. We we see you as monsters. And now you. And this is the main reason why phrases like men are trash go around because you guys don't want to stand firm and you don't want to put an end to all these bad things that are happening to us women. You don't want to protect us. You don't want to stand firm. So I'm saying let's not be ignorant. Even you ladies, just because you did not experience this does not mean that someone else did not experience it. No, everyone. Everyone is suffering in this social, social group. Everyone is affected by this because now People are losing their confidence. People are losing their self-esteem, their identity, their integrity, their dignity, all in the name of people cannot control their pants. They can't respect women. Respect is what's needed in the society. We can't stand, we can't sit down and keep quiet and say, oh, it'll all come to an end. This is the same way we made noise for Black Lives Matter is the same way we need to make noise for gender-based violence, for rape, for sexual assault. We need to make noise. And this is not, I'm not going to start making noise until this has come to a stop. This, basically, you know what rape is? Rape is stealing. When someone steals from you, they're taking something that's not theirs. And this is the same thing they're doing to girls. You're taking something that's not yours. It doesn't belong to you, but you keep taking it. You should go to jail for that. You're stealing. You're stealing someone's heart, someone's life. You're ruining her life. All on the basis of she was wearing something she tight. Oh, she was wearing a pantsuit. Oh, she was wearing a short skirt. She was wearing tight shorts. So what? Control? Self-control. Okay. Now, um, these are the three reasons why we bust out there. And I believe that when we put, when we address these three issues and we put self-respect on top, I feel like rape will be eliminated for good. And uh, I don't know if this is so irrelevant to people. But it's affecting you. You don't see it now, but you will see it. And you come back to this YouTube video and you tap that like button. You subscribe to that channel because you know that I was telling the truth. Yes, please.